farm together review uh, I'd normally do a do an intro with music and all that sort of thing uh, it's it's 16 pound or 17 pound game uh, and it's called farm together so the idea I suppose quite a lot is to farm with other players so I'm looking for a multiplayer game here bear in mind I've just loaded the game I've had it two days now Oh, this is day two rather it came out yesterday Friday the 19th of uh, January 2019 and this is it the day after and it was like this yesterday the servers obviously are not working are they so straight away that's uh, that's not a good point is it little plinky music there the, ga the graphics are, uh, are very cartoony and I I'd say it's a, it's a very sort of kidsy game. It's, it's not complex really. It, it's just one of them... Uh, one of them games, it's either gonna, it's either gonna grab you or it's not. And this is what happens uh, when you've been looking for a multiplayer game. I'll explain more about how the uh, menus and that work later and you save games. So now we're going to... Basically, the, the game should be loading now. I've loaded a save game. And you notice I had three. Uh, but it's it's not going to load. So I gave it plenty of time. Anyway, I, I quit it. And I go back to dashboard or whatever it's called these days and I'm using my camera right that's pressed it should be launching now so the launch were a bit sticky there as well and basically I'm, I'm not going to ruin the plot here it, it just don't launch it gives you an error message after uh, after a short time you know the uh, too long one. So I get I get the game loaded, and and there we go with the, uh, the save games that I've got. So I'm loading the save game. That's how fast it should have loaded. You can see there's a big difference. If it goes wrong, you won't be in any mistake, any uh, any illusion that it's going to work. So uh, I'm not showing you from the start of a game. I'm going to show you it different aspects of the game so you're going to have an idea whether whether you actually like it or not that's a placeable object that just gives you money all the time basically all you're going to do is move underneath things and press A uh, and, and that is essentially the game and it's whether you like doing this sort of thing but it's much like all these other games like this it's like Stardew Valley and Graveyard Keeper which I've played extensively at Stardew Valley and uh, strangely this this is one of them games that when when you when when you leave it it continues in the background all the time so presumably uh, I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe it's a maybe it's a server thing. So it's uh, there's a main server somewhere that's saving your progress, uh, or it just does some fancy calculations, you know, when you switch it on. But it keeps uh, it keeps progressing all the time. All these things you plant. I'll I'll get into it a little bit later. I'm just showing you the bare basics of it. And you level everything up. It's just one of them level everything up fests. Like that, you see. So that's just them. I'm I'm picking potatoes here, and it's leveled them up. And you get a little bit more money for them. Every time you do something, you get XP, and it puts an item into storage, uh, which I'll come to a little bit later. So it's fairly simplistic, but you've got to bear in mind that. Uh, all the time you're not playing it, you know, if you if you go off and you go to bed or you have your dinner or you go out to work, school or whatever, 
this this game's going to be still playing, and people, presumably, when uh, when the servers get fixed, can come into your game and start doing what I'm doing here. Uh, but there's different ways you can set that up. I think you can, you can make it private for a start, and then you can have different. See, I've le I've leveled up the whole farm there. If you look at the top corner where there's an ice cube, that's the that's the season, and the uh, the purple star is the level of the farm. Now this is where you get diamonds. There's different currencies. You can see there you've got money, diamonds, and a and a couple of other things. And this is how you get them little pink, uh, the little pink things. I can't really see them properly. I'll describe. It's like a pink ribbon. And that's a, a form of, of, of currency. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm not using the tractor, it's because you, you have to unlock the tractor by doing quests. Uh, which which I, will sh I will show you how to use the tractor, but this is the photo mode that's in it. So basically what you can do is, is position your camera and turn the head-up display off. That's the how to play help. It's it's not bad. It's quite comprehensive. And that's the thing about permissions for visitors to your farm and things like that. And that's your settings. Tutorial. Recycling is where you. That's what you. Uh, you put the tiles back to what they were. Expert modes basically without a head up display at all. So if I go back to game. See, there's no information at all now. It's still keeping the information, but there isn't any information showing on screen. It gives a bumper button as well to zoom in and out, change your, your camera distance and things. So I'm going back here. I've also turned off the uh, vibration. Every time you press the button, it vibrates quite strongly, and there's a lot of button pressing. So that's the first thing to go off. And, and and you can invert all your axes, which is a major plus. Is it axes or axes? I don't know. And you can change your, your controls. Some 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 uh, AAA games should learn from this. They really should learn from this because it's nice to be able to configure your controls and your axes. 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 Whatever it is. Anyway, as you're playing, uh, the season you've got four seasons. Each season, for some reason, is 17 minutes, and it's selling you resources there. And if you look carefully, uh, and this is, I'll go back to looking carefully later. <laughs> this is all the the stuff that you and you unlock it. Obviously, you can see everything's got a star level. So that'll be a farmer level or your farm level. Presu I think it's your farmer level actually, because the farm level's quite low. But I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't played it that much. And everything's got a cost, and everything's got a, a harvest price, and everything's got a season, and everything gives you a resource. Like the the purple one is the standard. It's like a looks like a well, aubergine or something like that. You got fish. Yeah, the resources you sell them at that little stall there, and the little stall also provides storage. So each each vegetable or each thing that you plant has a season that you can do it. So when you've planted, I've just planted some lettuce here, and it shows you the costs involved of it, and then you can see the watering can over the top. Well, look in the bottom left there. It says nine minutes fifty-one. And on that one, it says nine minutes forty. Right now, go back to that. You see the time. So watering, it's actually saved some time. They should take ten minutes to grow, and watering them has saved saved some minutes. So you can just you can just dig, or you can dig and then plant, or you can dig, plant, and then water. But I wouldn't do it that way because then you have to press B to back out of the seed that you're using. So the easiest way really is just to, you know, left stick forward and keep air pressed <laughs> and, and it'll dig and then plant and move on to the next one, dig and then plant. 
but this way he's just planting but all I'm doing is that I've got the I've got the stick held forward and I've got the A button uh, just held and it just does it automatic for you and you can do it from on this bale go so he's digging planting moving on digging planting and now moving that way all of all I'm doing is moving the stick I've got the A button pressed all the time so you don't have to keep pressing it which does help a bit and the, the movements nice and fluid there's no there's no real graphical problems there is a part of it that says you can see you know as you can farm as far as the eye can see well you can't say that far so it was quite meaningless see the time's gone down again bottom left hand corner there underneath where it says lettuce and again everything's got a level of, of what when you look at it there's quite a lot of information contained in these icons at, at the at the at the bottom left and top right and then I've got you go up to something you press the right stick in then you can move it and it doesn't cost you anything so you can, you can move anything see that there's trees all scattered about well they're very seasonal you know the lot you'll only be able to do them maybe twice well apple trees you can do them every season for some reason but some of the other trees and some of the other plants you can only plant them at certain times uh, and harvest them at certain times as well so the trees you can only harvest them well the apple trees every season I think it is but some of the other ones it's just one specific season but you want them all together so you're not running up and down the map you can press the right trigger in to go faster and you press the the little button that's underneath the Xbox button that's on the left it's not the start button and you get up your little that's your inventory there that I just put up there's all kinds of buildings all kinds of stuff to plant there's there's fish pigs cows there's a lot there, there is a lot to do uh, it just depends on what sort of play you are doesn't it you're not going to be shooting anyone in the face and uh, driving a tank or anything like that you know what you see is what you get it, it's a fair, I'd call it a fairly budget game uh, and this is the this is the inventory of all the stuff that you've got you can have a pet as well but I've not really gone into that and you can get this farm helpers that you get but I've not progressed that far and what you have to do is you have to unlock the gas pump basically before you can use your tractor and there's a lot of different quests you can use they're things they give you the pink sort of ribbon things and that's how you uh, that's how you make progression that's how you pay for certain things like diamonds are a currency then pink things are a currency and there's another currency that you get back I ain't got to that yet it's from doing jobs inside your house apparently see I've just exited out and I notice here that it says Lakeville farm four seconds right I'm going back and now we'll go back to my farms Lakeville farm 17 seconds and look at the times on the other ones now this this is this is the grabber for a lot of people is that uh, I think this is going to be the grabber for a lot of people it certainly is me what daily reward for getting back thousand gold coins and five diamonds so that you can see this this farm's a bit more uh, A bit more advanced and I've got I've got several quests going and it's a higher level I think it's a, a level 8 farm if, if there's any any I just noticed then while I was doing this commentary I've, I've recorded it you see on the Xbox and oh there you go that's how you expand your farm uh, and and then I narrate over it it's the easiest way to do a, do something like this I noticed there was a bit of frame rate drop when it when he initially loaded and there were all them trees and that there well in if if you saw any frame rate dropping it that's due to how it's being captured i can't tell until i see the final version of this 
whether there will be a frame, whether whether it will look like there's been a frame rate drop. But while you're playing, so far on the amount I've played, I haven't seen any frame rate drop at all. Everything feels fluid. It does feel nice uh, the way it moves, and there's no 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 glitchiness. The only the only bug I've found really is the is the uh, the lobby. You know the multiplayer lobby, and then when you try and launch, if you've been in that any length of time, you just sometimes the games won't. It's not consistent. Sometimes the games won't launch, and I've had a couple of it go straight back to dashboard. It's not, it's not called dashboard anymore. You like you know your main Xbox menu. Uh, no doubt that'll get fixed, but it. I don't like it when they release games like that. You know, we all have different opinions on this. It just seems this is a simple game, and and something like that just it should have been picked up in play testing, shouldn't it? I shouldn't be play testing it. Neither should anyone else. This is your free time. You don't want to be working around things. You just want to play the damn game. So I'm going to buy a petrol pump here. This is how we get your tractor. Gas pump if you're American. So the little pink box you go up to, it, press A. What a surprise. And now I press left trigger and I can have my tractor now. Look, see, I've got the fuel amount next to me, next to my gamer picture up there. And you can do, the, the tractor enables you to do nine squares at a time. And it takes fuel off you. So you can see, watch the fuel go down. But you don't have to do nine squares. And, it, and the game does seem to take into account the amount of squares that you're doing to how much fuel it takes off you but the again the, the, the I think really the, the the clever thing about this game is that all this that I'm planting now that's that's going to be growing in fact that's going to be growing while I'm doing this uh, while I'm doing this this review <laughs> so I guess it, I, I'm the sort of person that I'm, I'm thinking. Right, I'll just do this before I before I go offline or before I end this game, or I can or, or the other ways. You know, you get into super efficiency mode. I'll have three or four games going. What? So I've got this planted in that, that planted in that. So I can be planting in one game while I'm harvesting in another. <laughs> so you can see what kind of nightmare that's gonna. If you're the type of person which which I actually am. Uh, what kind of nightmare that's going to turn into when uh, all, all the time you're doing something else you're thinking I could have another farm on go here <laughs> which to me that's a very clever game mechanic because that's that's pretty much grabbed me and made me almost an instant addict on this I'm going to have to be very disciplined with myself and the other thing is you've got a limited supply of fuel there aren't you so I'll go down doing manual things, but I'm already running over at the gas pump, which is half full. Uh, so the the temptation is going to be to hang around in the game until your character has got a full, <laughs> a full, uh, a full fuel load for your tractor. Do you see what I mean? You know, I'm going to go to another farm here, and all the time I I press wrong button. All the time I'm I'm farming in this one. All my other farms, you can see the times on them. That's the one I was just on eleven seconds ago, and that's Bedford Falls is my main one. Anyone that's watched uh, Wonderful Life knows what that means. Bedford Falls, uh, and there there is quite a lot to it. I've got some cows here, and they don't starve to death, but they do cost a lot to feed. Look at that, two thousand. <laughs> I don't. You get milk and that off them. Then you can make the milk into cheese. Now that's a some sort of bread making thing. I've got a silo there in case you don't grow the wheat, but the the wheat costs you a thousand to put into the bread making thing. All the putting, all the putting uh, and moving items about is done by the game in the background. So you don't have to mess about with a lot of logistics like you're doing in a lot of other games. You see, and the other thing as well, some of these things you just plant them once and you harvest them many times, like flowers is one of them. 
So essentially, what every time you you harvest out of your land, there's been a cost. I mean, like the vegetables and that lot, like them cabbages. There was a cost to to till the land, to plough the land, and then there was a cost to plant the vegetables, right? So the the lettuces. If you just grow lettuces, that's basically one step forward, or sorry, two steps forward and one step back regarding money. Because uh, you get a low amount of money, but then when you plough the, the ground to replant again after it, it costs you, it costs you 10, 10 gold. I think it's, I think it's 20 gold for a heart to harvest one lettuce. See there, my fuel is, is low on the tractor and it'll only let me do three. Yeah, so that's that's quite good, isn't it? Really, so you don't you don't have to worry about wasting fuel by not doing nine squares. Yeah, I can't remember what we're talking about. We're talking about something that seemed quite relevant. It don't matter. You'll work it all out for yourself. Yes. So it. For me, it's it's very addictive, but uh, it's probably going to be short-lived. Oh yeah, I was talking about the efficiency of things, wasn't I? See, that's bamboo. I, I planted it. It's very expensive to plant, but every time you harvest it, you get 30. But it's levelled up, so it's 33. You get now 33 gold, and it only takes sort of 45 minutes to grow. So. If it costs 600 to plant, you could do some sums, and cal which I haven't done, and calculate how many times you got to harvest it to start being in profit. But eventually, because you never have to plant it again, you will be in profit. So you're going to have a square of your farm that you don't have to do up with other than harvest it, and you can harvest it every 45 minutes, by the look of it. I never actually looked at what season you can harvest the... Because uh, everything has a season. If you look carefully. And everything has a level. I'm just going through and showing you everything that you can plant and everything that you can do here. I mean, all in all, apart from the uh, not being able to get into a multiplayer game, I, I like this game. And it's not bad foot money, it's sort of £17. That's probably about $20. And. Uh, it, it's gonna you're gonna pass a lot of time doing this and I don't know how many farms you're gonna get going but if, like if you're like me you'll, you'll have multiple I'll, I'll end up with probably double that amount of farms at least oh, rail railroad I wonder, I wonder if you can use a train then you must be able to, if there's a railroad yeah I'd never noticed that before yeah so there's there's, there's a lot to the game isn't there and I think this is this is a good. Just, I'm just putting a path down here. There's there's all sorts of items you can put that don't do anything. Like uh, wind turbine doesn't seem to do anything. Because if that were farm simulator, it'd be making you money all the time, wouldn't it? But it's not like that in this game. I think it's just for decoration. There's lamps and all sorts you can put put on. You can do fish ponds. There's a little bonfire there. It doesn't do anything. It's just for decoration. And the lights. The lamps and that give out light on a night and things. I, I think it'd be a good game for a for a kid, as long as they can understand the controller. Uh, they're probably going to get along all right. You're not going to have to supervise them too much, and there won't be too much. Can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? They'll just probably, even from quite a young age, be able to get on with it. It looks like the sort of game you'd probably get on a tablet, doesn't it? Really. Because essentially you just you just moving in directions, aren't you? I wouldn't fancy. Pl I don't like tablet games, but that's just me. Uh, just showing you the quests again. The only downside, I should imagine, is you'd have to be you'd have to have a farm that you can leave open that you'd really don't care about. I'm I'm sure that if you're an achievement whore or whatever, that there'll be some achievement for letting people come into your farm and, and pillage it because <laughs> I think that's going to be quite rife in it people just going around pillaging other people's farms like a like a horde of locusts 
or Vikings. I don't think there's really much more to tell you about this game. Otherwise, like I said, I, I'd I'd recommend it for kids, and I'd recommend it for people that are addictive. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. I'm enjoying it so far, but uh, you, it's very customizable as well. You can you see all them things along the top. You've got like a dog and a cat, and you can customize your tractor. You can even customize the color of it. And the graphics are, are, are nice and cartoony, aren't they? The draw distance could do with being a bit a bit better though. The stuff literally pops up, but it pops up in such a way that it's it's quite cute. It don't pop up like it does in a farm simulator where it just looks awful. <laughs> it really obviously pops up. The, I don't know why there's a lot of popping on this, uh, and not not this not this game, but on this this Xbox. These latest consoles, you'd think that you'd be able to see for miles, wouldn't you, in any game? But you you just can't. Maybe on the next ones, eh? I mean, these these are like crazy supercomputers compared to what we used to play on. Uh, anyway, that's that. I can't stop because I've got some aloe vera to harvest. Thanks for watching.